My name is Jeff Clear, owner of Voodoo Customs. I drive a 2016 Chevy Silverado, and this is my episode of The Builder. Uh, I'm in it just to rewrite history, cause I'm in the mood to label us the leaders of the leaders of the new school. This ain't for the radio, can't find this on YouTube. This the type of killing that these critics say used to. Victorious, victorious, victorious. In this day and age, I got time for innovation. Time to be creative. Ever since I was a little kid, I was, I've, I've been interested in cars, trucks, anything with the motor and wheels. Uh, started out going to local dirt tracks, built my own race car, and uh, it just slowly progressed into building trucks. I think the thing I enjoy most about building trucks is the people. Um, I absolutely love going to local shows. I love going to big regional shows, national so shows, and I, I love hanging out with all the people. Um, everybody has a story. They put their heart and soul into their vehicles, and, and you, by talking to people, you, you really get a feel for, for why they did what they did and how they did it. My passion started with a 2011 Chevrolet Silverado. I started out with a very basic truck, and, and like everybody else does, I started to mod it a little bit at a time. I wheels, tires, and then a little bit of a lift. Then we did step bars, and then we did fender flares, and then we did a tonneau cover, and everything just kind of progressed from there. That truck ended up going through four or five different stages of, of, of what it was, and it, that truck ended up being my first SEMA build. We took, uh, when, I was, when I was first starting to build Voodoo, um, I, was, I was very active on social media, on truck forums, I was a moderator, um, and I got to meet a lot of people. And through various stages of the build, uh, I got in contact, AJ Spagnola contacted me from Spag's Garage in California and asked me if I would have any interest in taking Voodoo to SEMA to represent his company. Um, just about everybody that builds, that's a, that's a lifelong dream to have a vehicle at the SEMA show. And uh, it's hard to say no to that, so we, we tried to figure out how to make that happen and we did. And uh, from, from uh, Voodoo, uh, that truck, it, it, was, it was a cursed trip to get to the, to the show. Uh, on the way out to Las Vegas, the uh, transporter hit an overpass, caved the whole roof in. Uh, we got to the show heartbroken, didn't know what we were to expect to see. And uh, we ended up, the damage wasn't so bad, but it, it, was, it was high enough nobody could really see it. So we went ahead with the show and uh, it, it really, uh, I think a lot of people saw what we could do and, and, uh, and they saw the, the, the drive we had to, to go ahead and show the truck and uh, and that led to our second SEMA build which was a 2015 Silverado named Solaris. Uh, that truck was uh, a feature truck outside for undercover truck bed covers and uh, last year we did two, two builds for SEMA. 
uh, the truck you see behind me, and we also did a black 2015 Silverado uh, 2500 six liter that was a feature vehicle for the SEMA LTA, LTAA outside. Uh, the truck behind me is a 2016 Chevy Silverado LTZ Z71. Uh, it has a Duramax. It's uh, completely tuned. Um, it has a 10 to 12 inch Cognito Motorsports lift set at 10 inches. Uh, it's got 22 by 12 Anthem Motorsports Anthem off-road wheels. It has uh, Toyo 40, 15, 50, 22 tires. Uh, it has the amp power steps. It has Bushwhacker fender flares. Uh, it has bodyguard bumpers front and rear that are coated with bullet liner. The, uh, one of the most obvious things you see is the RK Sport uh, hood. It's functional Ram Air hood. Uh, I, I don't have a truck without an undercover tonneau cover. It's lockable, weatherproof. Uh, we also have undercover swing cases in there, which are so handy for going to these shows and stuff. You can load them up with all your cleaning stuff. You can put tools in them. They're lockable. Uh, there's also a, uh, something a little bit unique in the bed is a wood uh, bed liner, basically. It's, it's uh, from bed wood. It's called the retro liner. Uh, it gives it kind of a cool old school feel. Um, inside we have uh, road wire leather interior. Um, Lighting, we have C4 off-road products. They do our, our light bars and our pods. Uh, they also did our under lighting. Uh, the, uh, it has a fast fuel system, 150 titanium with the sump. Uh, it also has an HSP intake uh, and piping. We have uh, Flow Pro 5 inch exhaust, uh, straight back, no catch, no anything. Uh, I don't know that there was any setbacks on this build. It, it went really well. Um, we're, we're uh, like I said, our, our build partners build really good products and uh, very, very seldom do we have any trouble. Uh, stuff goes together well. It, uh, I, I really, the only setback is time. Um, they, uh, everybody's heard of SEMA Crunch and you see, you've seen the hashtag SEMA Crunch on social media everywhere and, and it, it's a real thing. You, you, uh, you get these parts just a few weeks before that to go on a transporter to leave to go to Vegas and, and you're, you're, you're pretty much crunched for time to get it done. But future plans for this truck, uh, right now it's for sale, but uh, if it doesn't sell, that's fine with me. We're gonna, we're gonna drive it and enjoy the heck out of it and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good time to drive around. Uh, we have a 2017 Duramax that's gonna be in the bullet liner booth at the 2017 SEMA show. And uh, probably one of the most special builds I'm ever gonna do is a, uh, 2017 Silverado that belonged to my dad. Um, my dad just passed away in July and uh, he and I talked about building a truck for a long time. We never did. So uh, I'm going to do that build and we're going we're gonna to do it in honor of him. Uh, basically, as far as the SEMA builds go, um, I'm, I'm in the garage. Um, we're out in the shop wrenching on these trucks after work. Uh, we all, have, we all have regular jobs, uh, so if you swing by the shop in the evening, you'll find any combination of me, friends, uh, my wife, some of my five daughters are out there helping. Uh, so as far as involvement goes, pretty much everybody's involved. Uh, anybody can come over and give us a hand. We, uh, we never turn down help. Um, we have some guys that are experts with wiring and some guys that are experts with suspension, and so I, we really, Everybody's out in the shop pitching in a hand anytime they can. I, I think I think vehicle customation over fancy big fancy houses and vacations and stuff is, is again because of the people. Uh, you you meet so many unique and, and wonderful people. It's just like the story I told about Sean. He he uh, he came onto that truck for him. He was just he was this a, a loud mouth uh, in your face. I'm gonna do this and you're gonna help me and. I'm like, who the heck is this guy? And, and, uh, and, and then you really get to know him and, and you're like, this guy is awesome. He's got his stuff together, knows where he's headed. Uh, you just meet all kinds of interesting people. It, it's, uh, 
like I said, everybody has, they, they put themselves into their build. You, you, you really get the, a feel for who somebody is by seeing their vehicle. And uh, I, I would say that the reason that I do this is the people. Thank you for watching my episode of The Builder. And to stay up to date on our, on our builds and our future builds, you can follow us on Instagram at Voodoo Underbar Customs.